It's CBSE and CRT Solutions Chapter 5 Arithmetic Progressions Exercise 5.3 Question Number 3 There are 10 parts in this question number 3 and I'll be solving first two but I will give you a good hint to solve all the questions. Basically to solve these parts we will be using three formulae and the first one is an equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. This is the formula that we use to find nth term of any given arithmetic progression where a n is the nth term, a is the first term and d is the common difference. And the next form important formula is s n equal to n divided by 2, 2 a plus n minus 1 times d. Here a is the first term and n is the number of terms and d is the common difference. This formula is used when we want to find sum of n terms of any given arithmetic progression. And the third one is s n equal to n divided by 2 a plus l. Here l is the last term of arithmetic progression, a is the first term and n is the number of terms present in the arithmetic progression. So these three formulae will be used to solve all the 10 parts of question number 3. You just need to play with different variables and only one variable will be unknown at a time and uh, and just be careful which formula you need to use to solve the required variable. So here in question number one, in part number one, first term is given to us and common difference is given to us, d is equal to 3 and nth term is also given to us, it's equal to 50 and they are asking us to find n and s n so they are asking us how many terms are there in arithmetic progression and what is the sum of n terms of this arithmetic progression so here we can use this formula but we don't know the value of n here so we can find the value of n using this formula that's pretty easy so let's use this formula a n equal to a plus n minus 1 times d so putting a n equal to 50 here and value of a is 5 and n is unknown value of d is 3 and solving this equation I'll open the bracket here I get 3 and minus 3 here and I can bring this 5 to the left hand side and this 3 to the left hand side I get 3 n here and I get here 50 plus 3 is 53 53 minus 5 is 48 equal to 3 n so I get here n equal to 48 divided by 3 equal to 16 so n is equal to 16 it means that we have found one unknown variable which is the part of the problem and now we need to find s n now we can directly use one of the formula we can use this one or we can use this one it doesn't matter if we use this one the value of l would, would be 50 here so let's suppose I use this formula to find the value of Sn. So Sn is equal to n divided by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Value of n is 16 that we just found and 2 times a value of a is 5 here in this problem and n is again 16 minus 1 times d the value of d is 3 here. Common difference because it's given to us here and uh, I get here 8, 10 plus 15 16 minus 1 is 15, 15 times 3 is 45 and I get here 8 times 55 equal to 440. So this is the value of sum of n terms of arithmetic progression. Now we can start with part second and this is another part I will be solving. Here we are given first term equal to 7, a is equal to 7 and 13th term is given to us that's 35 and they are asking us to find d to find common difference which is d and s13 so the value of a13 is given to us using formula a n equal to a plus n minus 1 times d this is the first formula here in the list we can find the value of common difference here because we know the value of n this time value of n is 13 here so a13 is equal to value of a is 7 and n is 13 minus 1 times d. d is unknown. So value of a13 is 35 equal to 7 plus 13d minus d 
now I can bring this 7 to the left hand side so 35 minus 7 is equal to 12d so I get here 35 minus 7 is 28 equal to 12d I get here d equal to 28 divided by 12 equal to 14 divided by 6 or I can write 7 divided by 3 so value of common difference is 7 by 3 so this was one of the unknown variable and we just found it now they are asking us to find the value of s 13 which means sum of 13 terms of arithmetic progression so let's use this formula which is a which is the second formula present in this list now putting value of n equal to 13 here uh, putting value of n equal to 13 so I get here 13 divided by 2 2 times a the value of a is 7 here in this problem and 13 minus 1 times d the value of d we just found it it's 7 divided by 3 so we get here 13 divided by 2 2 times 7 is 14 plus 13 minus 1 it's 12 times 7 by 3 and we get here 13 divided by 2 14 and this 3 gets cancelled by this 4 we get here 14 plus 28 and it's equal to 13 divided by 2 times 28 plus 14 is 42 and this 2 gets cancelled by this 42 we get 21 here so 21 times 13 is 273 so this is the value of s13 so we just found the values of two unknown variables which was the part of problem now you can yourself solve the rest of the parts in some of the parts you may need to use this formula too according to your convenience so just try them yourself I hope you will be able to solve rest of the parts by yourself by using these three formulae so this is number one this is number two and this is number three yeah take care guys see you in the next video